In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to control a servo with an Arduino in the 123D Circuits Virtual Simulator. So here you see we have an Arduino, we have a potentiometer, and we have a servo. And when I turn the dial on the potentiometer, the servo follows it. And the way this works is the potentiometer is connected to ground and power, and its output, the wiper pin, goes to an analog read pin, which is analog zero on the Arduino. The Arduino reads the voltage, and we have a multimeter set up here so that we can see it for ourselves. So the Arduino reads this voltage, and then it creates a special waveform that comes out on pin 9 that goes to the servo. So that controls the servo. And if we zoom out a little bit and we scroll, you see that I actually have an oscilloscope. I'll start this back up again. And you'll see this oscilloscope has a little blip on it. And if we change the time scale so we can see more, we see, let's zoom in, that as I turn the potentiometer, that pulse widens on the waveform. And since we've learned about period and duty cycle, let's talk about that. So we know that time per division is 5 milliseconds. So the period of this is 5, 10, 15, 20 milliseconds. It's one full period. And that means the waveform is being generated at 50 hertz, because one second divided by 20 milliseconds is 50 hertz. And then if we zoom in a little bit closer, we change this back to 1, we see that the servo responds, so the servo moves anywhere from here, which is 2 milliseconds, down to 1 millisecond. And if we go lower than one millisecond, you notice that the servo doesn't move. It's because this servo is based off a real servo that reacts to a pulse width between one millisecond and two milliseconds, which is a 5% to 10% duty cycle. So let's zoom back out. We'll move this up. And let's look at the code for this. We'll open the code editor. And this right here, this is all of it. There's not a lot of code required. And if you like this circuit, if you want a servo for yourself in 123D circuits, you can go to the URL of this circuit and you can fork this circuit and it will be yours. So there's a little bit of description. Then we jump right into the code. So we're including servo.h, which is a servo library published by Arduino. And here we're creating an instance called servo1 of the servo class. And we're creating an integer called pot pin, which is essentially telling us that pot pin is now what we call the connection to analog pin zero. In the setup, we are attaching pin nine to this instance of servo called servo one. And then we are starting a serial connection to the serial monitor. If we scroll down a little bit further, all of this is the logic that's that's it. It's very simple to control a servo. So we're creating an integer and we're calling it val, and that is an analog read from pot pin. So that means we're reading the voltage from this pin. And then for later on for our serial monitor, we're creating a float, which means it has decimal places called volt. And we're doing a little bit of math. So we're taking val and dividing it by 1023 and multiplying it by five to get volt. And then here, we are creating a variable called angle. And angle is what controls the servo. So when we're writing out to the servo, we're writing out this value called angle. And since the servo wants to know a number between 0 and 180 degrees, the value that comes from the analog read could be too high. Since the analog read pins are 10-bit and they read between 0 and 1023, we have to use this mapping function to map 0 to 1023 down to 180. So that's what this function is for. Then we write out the angle and we're done. We're controlling the servo. And the rest of this code here is just used to output some numbers on the serial monitor. So here on the left, as we turn the potentiometer, we can see the number from the analog read is right here. And then this number, we're doing some math. This is volt. So if you'd like to have a servo in your project in the 123D circuit simulator, here you go. 
The URL of this circuit can be found in the video description. Go ahead, fork it, try it for yourself in 123D circuits.